Hey there, welcome to Things Dan's Way. So if you've ever tried to replace an incandescent turn signal with an LED turn signal, what you've probably seen or in the forums is the fact that your car will likely hyperflash. And what hyperflash is, is basically it's where the, the turn signal is turning on and off really fast to tell you that the bulb is burned out. Because the car is smart enough to see that if the power drawn from two of these bulbs, you know, your front and your rear, is not a certain amount of power, it knows a bulb is probably burned. So what it does is it goes in the hyperflash mode so you still get a turn signal, but you're also warned as the driver that, hey, there's something wrong because we don't see the outside of our cars, right? So you replace an incandescent with an LED, you get that problem, and now the only real solution is to install a big resistor. Now those resistors, uh, they work. They give you, as you can see here in this footage, uh, I've had to mount uh, these big resistors on the car and run wires over to the wires that go to the LED itself. And the result is, okay, now the car is fooled into thinking that I have a working bulb there drawing the power that a normal incandescent bulb requires. And so that works, but it's klutzy. You gotta drill holes, you gotta run wires, you gotta worry about waterproofing. There's like all, all the drama associated with that. Now, just a couple months ago, Oxido came out and started showing ads for a bulb that actually has the resistor built in. So I had to jump on that right away. So what I got is a couple sets of these. These have a little teeny fan built in the top and that resistor is built inside. So at the other day, this is just a plug and play solution. It's really slick. And so I put that on my Highlander here and immediately swapping them out. The car doesn't know any different. The turn signals work perfectly normal. So this is a great solution. It's really quick. Uh, on this car, I'll show you really quick how easy it is to replace. All we're gonna do is remove one little trim piece here and then we're gonna just twist and pull out the old bulb uh, from the fixture. And we're just gonna swap, pull that bulb out, swap in the new LED, being careful not to touch the little LED segments that are on there. You don't want your finger oils on them but snap it back together, slide it in, and put the trim piece back on again, and you're done. For most cars, it's really that simple. Some require a little more work. So here's standing behind the vehicle. You can see the new bulb is on the right. The left one is a, another LED that I've used previously that I had installed resistors for. So these new ones are really, really bright. So that's probably helping uh, to draw more power, which also fools the car, again, to thinking that things are working well. So in the links down below, there will be a link to getting these particular bulbs, are the ones that have the fan built in, which is really slick. If you use my code, a coupon code of Dan's Way, you'll get a discount. So if you like this video, want to see more LED replacements on my Highlander and other cars, hit up these videos over here, smash them on my face to subscribe for the next video that comes out. Until next time, guys, be blessed.